Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Okay, today is a good show because we are going to unbox and test the CD Archery WF21. I've been waiting for this riser for a long time. It's been, you know, uh, in the community, it's been hotly debated whether or not you need a 19 inch in between that 25 inch uh, riser. These are ILF risers uh, from CD Archery. This one I have is on loan, uh, so it's going back. Uh, I don't have it, this is not a paid advertisement for this at all. I'm gonna give you my first impressions on it. We're gonna put it together. We're going to um, string it, shoot it, and see how it goes. I have a uh, comparison here. So I have the Satori 19 inch, uh, which I love, uh, love shooting. Uh, I don't shoot it a lot though, to be honest with you, because what I normally shoot and what I hunt, hunted with this year was the WF 19. So it'll look pretty similar to this. I, I'm guessing we'll open it here in a second. I have a springy rest and that's exactly what we'll use on this uh, riser as well. Um, just to keep it clean. I won't shoot it off the bump, but we'll talk a little bit about the bump and what that looks like. So we'll review all that stuff. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to the box opening. Okay. Come on out. Okay, first impressions. Absolutely love the green. Love the paint job on this thing. Oh my, that is so nice. I mean, that looks so beautiful, so beautiful. It is a, a flat green. Wow, beautiful. WF21. Here is the 19 in comparison. Just put it this way. So this is more of a shiny, a glossy finish. This is a nice flat green. I think this, this is a color that's gonna be incredibly popular. Nice, beautiful. The thing that impresses me are the limb bolts on my WF-19. How many times you can turn them out and turn them in and just adjust your poundage, which is amazing, right? It's nice, it has this, um, you can shoot off the hump here and it has a really nice um, side plate that comes in and out. There's a set bolt there. Anyway, it's beautiful. What else? Let me send it here. I get a pen. I'm not, hey, Dwayne, I'm not sending you back this pen. This is awesome. Okay, so I get a pen. Um, and then you get instructions, you know, congratulations. You're now the proud owner of, of an innovative new concept of risers. Um, this is the weight forward system, right? So, um, and then they give you, you know, the limb bolts can go out six turns. So we'll test it at the bolt all the way flat and see how much weight I'm holding on my fingers. And then we'll pull it out to six or we'll unscrew it to six. Uh, turns like it says in the instructions you can do and then I'll see what the difference in weight is and that'll be that Delta between the the bolt being really low and the bolt being all the way out or the maximum it can be out and that's kind of cool because then you can buy limbs and you can grow with those limbs if you want to so you can start off really light and then just increase the tension by screwing this limb bolt in anyway that's the advantage of of this riser in particular it's got that six turn uh, variants. Anyway, I love that. Uh, brace height on the uh, 19 and 25s is 9 inches, 27s is 9 inches. It doesn't actually say 21 inches on the instruction, so I'm going to just go with the 19s and the 25s, so that's a 8.5 inch uh, brace height. So we'll set that tiller, we'll set the tiller to probably be even for 3 under. Um, and it tells you, you know, the knock, um, knock height, what you should start at. This is uh, this looks to be the one for the WF19. Uh, this card, but you know they'll they'll update that as they go and they'll make new cards. Uh, but basically, the same instructions for the 19 or the 25 would work with this. Okay, let's go over the different features between the 21 and the 19. Um, they look fairly identical in terms of the design. They have this very unique 
styling and again weight forward technology and again the 19 has this too but what you'll notice what i've noticed anyway um when i put these two together it seems as though uh i don't know i'm not an engineer but it looks as if the angle the limb pocket angle on this bow is much more forward so instead of being you know swept back like this it seems to be more forward whereas this is more angled back and it kind of i don't know if you can see that or not that's gonna be hard to see but it just seems that way to me and of course they both have the two um tapped holes uh, for for a springy rest or a rest and a plunger um, there's a currently there's a, uh, a side plate on there that is adjustable um, this one is comes to me with i think that this is a high grip looks like a high grip to me this of course is my low grip you know another cool thing on here too is they have this see this slot right here that's for lining up your string and then adjusting your your limb so that your limbs are perfect perfectly aligned and then there's adjustments here at the top so that you can adjust your limbs left and right looks like they have a screw here for weight system in the very bottom so already another uh, way to have weight there without anything extending they do have the same uh, standard thread uh, a stabilizer hole so you can put a stabilizer on these uh, which is great you know sometimes um, I can't get so on this particular model i can't get my yoast weight i can get it the offset to come up here but it's really kludgy it doesn't work uh, i'm curious to see whether or not i can put my yoast weight on here it it looks like i can if that's the case there's already a bonus for buying going up to the 21 inch so that will be interesting again and the, the color is fantastic did i mention that it is absolutely gorgeous um, i don't see any other differences again i think the pocket goes back a little bit further sorry goes Instead of being angled like this on the, the 19, on the 21, it comes up a little bit more upright. Um, I'll, I don't know how that will affects things. Again, I'm not an engineer, so I don't know. And then you can see that there's these two cut holes, whereas in this one, there's a single cut hole because it's shorter. All right, let's go string this guy up and, uh, and shoot it. I can't wait. I'm so excited. This is the most excited I've ever been for a bow. The 21-inch CD rut. Uh, CD Archery WF21. Okay, so I've taken the springing rest off of um, my WF19. Let me put it on here. Um, and I've taken this off too. This is the side plate that was on here. I want to show you something. So I was very, very careful, as careful as I possibly could. And I've scraped the paint here um i mean it's not bad but it's it's very sensitive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some blue painter tape on there again this is not my bow um so i'm going to put some blue painter tape on there just to be careful uh, but i've got a little bit of a touch up they're gonna have a little bit of a touch up when they, this gets back to them all right so let's get to it All right, I'm gonna leave that on there. And now I'm gonna unloosen these, or sorry, I'm gonna leave them as tight as they possibly can go. And I want to just ensure that that is. Make sure you loosen that set screw and make sure you tighten it as well. Um, so we'll see if they're as low as they can go. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten these. I'm gonna do it in any order. So first thing I don't like is that these set screws are sticking out the back on the lowest possible setting. Can you see that? Set screws out, lowest possible setting. So, you know, the farther they stick out for me, it just, it just feels like it's not finished, you know? It's a lot of things sticking off, it's not sleek. It's an aesthetic thing. They work, they're in far enough that they can tighten that, that down and the, um, the limb bolts won't move, so. Okay, I took a look at this. These are all the way in. You can see really deep. Um, and I have kind of my second 
sort of complaint um, with these Uka limbs. There's a detent uh, on the back of them, and it's a springy detent, and it's it's there's a groove in the limb pocket of the riser. This groove that goes that connects in here does not it's not deep enough. And so that detent doesn't hold it. So the limbs fall off when you're trying to put them on and off. Uh, and that happens with the Ukas. I have some other set of limbs. I'm going to try it out on those. If it doesn't do it to those, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but right now, they look like it's seated. So what we're going to do is we're going to back these out. Because <laughs> uh, it is 50 pounds. Thir these are 38 longs. Uka EX1 Evo 2s on this 25 inch riser at 29, my draw length. Seems to me that these are 50 pounds and I'm using a luggage scale. So, I mean, it's not high tech. Um, just letting you know. All right, so here we go. one whole turn yeah I don't like this I don't like them under pressure like this Th this is cutting into my limb so typically you can loosen off you know tighten just a little bit but this is actually cutting into my uka limbs so I'm gonna unstring this and then do the twists out hey so I just tested these are 42 pounds with the limb bolts all the way out let me recap everything for you we're on a WF 21 inch riser it is these are, these are rated for 38 pound Uka limbs, a 25 inch riser. Uh, I had the limb bolts all the way in. Uh, I was seeing about 50 pounds out of these limbs, uh, 29 inches. Then with the limbs all the way out, six turns, I'm at 42 pounds. So it's an eight pound swing. Uh, that is, that's dramatic, <laughs> that's dramatic. Um, the weight on this thing, and the way it shoots is, is pretty good. I haven't shot a lot, but you know, I've been shooting just a little bit on and off just to tune the bow, see if I can get arrows that will tune, uh, which I do. So I'm gonna show you some shooting now with this at 42 pounds. Okay guys, so, um, after shooting for a little bit, very little bit, uh, I've got two arrows that tune pretty good. Uh, they're Easton ST Epics, they don't make them anymore, but. They're great arrows, um, and they're 500 spine with a, a 150 up front. And uh, this thing, man, is shooting fantastic. It's so smooth. It is such a pleasure to shoot. Like, I, I really do like it. Uh, obviously, the limbs make a big difference. But other than this handle, you know, which is a pretty high grip, I kind of like it. I love the looks of it, the feel. Everything is great. It's dead in the hand moves forward as you're shooting. I didn't put my, my Yoast weight on, you can see. Um, so, but if I did, it would be even more forward. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at that deer about 18 yards, or 20 yards, 18 meters. You can see the arrows kind of go wonky, a little wonky, but. There's a little bit of a crosswind too. Oh, that's just high. Let's shoot another couple. little better in a grouping there anyway uh, yeah so that's a few shots with this pretty quiet and again I don't have cat whiskers on here uh, the brace heights a little bit low I did adjust it so I'm sitting at almost eight and a half uh, inches I think if I got it up to eight and a half inches or a little bit even a little bit more I think it would be even less and I'm slapping against my jacket a little bit which would be even less as well Hey guys, how you doing? All right, so now I'm inside at my indoor range. Uh, it's 18 meters. I'm going to 
shoot it just as if you know I was shooting my GLO GT riser. Not a real fair comparison, but let me let's just let's just see how it goes. Um, I'm expecting to shoot pretty well. That was loud. <laughs> okay, uh, but come on down uh, here with me. You know, I'm never going to complain about that. Looks like a ten. It's touching a ten and a again. I broke the line eight. Ten and eight. All right, guys. So this is the deal. Uh, that riser feels fantastic. I mean, fantastic. It is a great crossover. I don't have the right limbs on there. I don't think that I would shoot indoor uh, anything over 38 pounds. Uh, the lowest I could get that down to was, you know, 42. And I actually have it sitting at around 44, 45 pounds right now, just because I feel more comfortable with the bolt turned in. Now, I don't know that that is, needs to be that way. It's just how I feel. I don't want them turned all the way out. Um, you know, it shoots pretty good, right? So. If you can group like that, you can stay inside, you know, eight inches or six, sorry, six inches. Um, that's a good shooting bow. And, you know, it's even better shooting. And that's how I shoot. Can you imagine someone that can actually shoot a bow, uh, what they would do with it? So I think, you know, I, it's two thumbs up for me. This is a brilliant product. The weight is perfect. Um, one of those things I don't want to do is when I'm hunting, I don't want to actually have to put a, a stabilizer on my bow. The option's there. You can do it. But I'd rather just not do that. I'd rather just have the weight in the bow. Now, if you're backpacking into elk country or something like that, and you have to, uh, you know, hike that bow, hike that bow in, you might want to go for a lighter option. You know, maybe the Satori or something like that. But for the way it feels compared to the 19 inch and, and that 19 inch um, <clears throat> CD Archery WF19 riser is. I love it to death. Love it, love it. Especially after I put the springy rest on there. Uh, I've been shooting way more consistently. I put the springy rest on, rest on this 21 inch riser and it is fantastic. Now there are a couple competitors in the market right now. Uh, obviously our good friends over at the push have uh, their 21 inch riser at 3D River, or sorry, at Three Rivers Archery. Um, gonna try and get my hands on that one too. And if I do, I'll do a review on that. Okay, well let's go back to the uh, desk and I'll give you my final final review all right stay tuned hey everyone okay so let me give you my final thoughts on my initial first impressions of the WF 21 all right so here's the deal let's go over the specs one more time it is a 21 inch riser uh, has all stainless steel hardware it's about four pounds it's really close to four pounds there's a hump here uh, I have blue tape over it. Again, I want to protect this. This is not my bow. Um, it's drilled and tapped uh, for a quiver, which, by the way, uh, there's an advantage for this drilling and tapping up here and having the longer riser. I will tell you, on my WF-19, when I put a plunger in here, or if I put a uh, springy rest, these holes are too close, and then my quiver, the personal quiver that I have, won't fit in so it won't slide into the slot here i don't know if you can see that uh won't slide in that slot here so having it up a little bit higher and having a little bit longer riser that's going to be so much better so much better so already one of the advantages over the the 19. um there's two plunger holes so you can use the um you can use one for plunger the other one to uh, secure a, a wraparound rest um there's a hole for the CD archery weight that's right here. And you can see that there's a little set screw in there too, if you can see through there. It's $685 as opposed to the WF-19, which was $585, ah, which was $585. Now, that being said, it's a hundred dollars difference. Would I, if I had a choice between these two today, which one would I have chosen? Not a question whatsoever. You're going to get the 21 inch. At least I would anyway. It's just nicer to have that little bit extra weight and that length in the riser. Yeah, so it's not even a competition. It's not even close. Now, WF-19 isn't the only game in town, you know, that's competition for the WF-21. 
open and honest, we should be talking about the, and when we're talking about competition for this bow and what you should be looking at if you're in the market for a product like this. Our friends over at Three Rivers Archery and the Push Archery and the Trad Lab uh, got together and they created a pretty uh, cool looking, uh, do on the DOS platform, they've created a pretty cool looking bare bow 21 inch riser as well. Um, that one is $599, so it's even cheaper than this one. However, you have to add a, a grip, which costs about $45. So, you know, it's sort of around that $650 mark as opposed to $685, so it's a little bit cheaper. Hey, everyone. Okay, as I was editing this video, I was like, oh, I better check the prices again. So I actually uh, look back at the DOS HT21. It is... Uh, quite a bit more money, $745 actually, when you compare apples to apples. That's with the ILF uh, fittings on it and the sniper green. So comparing apples to apples, uh, it's, uh, it's more money than the WF21. I just wanted to make sure that I had the most accurate information before I launched this video. Anyway, uh, back to the video. It's about four pounds, it's just over four pounds. So similar weight, just a little bit heavier than this one. Um, and if you want a special paint job with them, um, other than just the base base paint job that this that this riser seems to come with as um, standard, then you're gonna pay like 80 bucks. And there's options to get more expensive paint jobs on this riser as well. I wouldn't pay for the extra paint. I just it's not worth the money to me. But I I, I feel strongly that you know I can't give a recommendation on that one. I just informing you that there is that option out there when you're looking for a 21 inch platform and obviously you are because you're watching this video my recommendation right now <clears throat> if i were to buy another riser because i'm so familiar with this i would most likely go I, I would lean towards this but i would like to try out the uh the dos ht21 that's available for order now see here's the interesting thing this bow got sent to me again this is not a paid uh, advertisement for CD archery anyone can call them up and ask them for a riser to try that is a distinct like distinct advantage if you don't go to trad shoots and stuff like that and you're able to, to meet with people uh, and, and shoot their bows uh, then it's a huge advantage to get a bow sent to you and try it first before you buy it but that's how much they trust in this bow I think the 21 inch platform is fantastic. Again, this is an initial review, but I've shot a lot today, maybe over a hundred arrows, and, and it just felt good. I just wanted to keep shooting all day. So guys, if you're in the market for a 21 inch bow, don't, uh, don't pass this one up. Give Dwayne and uh, Calvin a call at CD Archery. They'll talk to you for however long you want, and they'll talk archery, and if, you tell them that you're like an indoor archer and you're, you're just interested in shooting paper, they're going to talk you out of this because that's the kind of company they are. They'll say, this is the wrong platform for you. You need the WF25 or 27 or 29. Um, but if you're an all-around sort of archer, hunter, and you only have money for one product, one bow, one riser, then this is probably the one they'll try and talk you into. But who knows? Call them up. Talk to them. They'll send you out one. Um to try for a couple weeks and you send it back if you don't like it what do you got to lose anyway uh, again not a paid promotion from those guys just really like like uh, their business model really like their products i've been using it for a while now obviously this one's all beat up um and if you've gotten this far and you enjoyed this review don't forget to hit like and subscribe hit that bell notification too and not only do i do uh, reviews like this but i also do quick shots which is my uh, 30 minute podcast and I um, meet with and talk to some amazing, amazing people in the trad world. And if you're one of those amazing people in the trad world, please leave me a comment. Thank you very much uh, to Dwayne, or sorry, uh, to Calvin. Calvin did all the work. I'm not going to thank Dwayne. Calvin Smock did all the work sending this out to me. So thank you very much, Calvin, for, for sending this out. I'm going to keep it for a couple more uh, days, shoot it a bunch, and just enjoy it. Um, but until we talk again, until our next uh, review or next time you're on uh, Quick Shots, stay positive, test negative. Until next time, take care.